I like boobies. Hello guys, it's Jacob, and today, us gay brothers are gonna go to Hoodles. Tits! Oh. Oh. Maybe get turned straight. I'm so excited because my mom wouldn't let me do this, but I'm in LA only with my brothers. Some of our family members wanted to send us to a gay camp to turn straight, but we figured Hooters might turn us straight. Yeah, like... Tits do things, right? Yeah, like, if I see a big pair of hooters, I might be like, wow. Turns out I'm not a homosexual. <laughs> Don't the pants, like, ride up It's literally eyes. the shortest shorts, wedgie central. And then yeah. just, like, tits out, tank top. I'm just scared because will someone, like, come up to us and be like, go in the back room with me? Is it, like, a prostitution place It's not, like, a stripping place, but they will, like, rub their boobs on your burger. Wait. I don't know. I haven't been there since I was like seven. I was at a friend's house and their dad brought us. And I was like, I knew then. I was like, I'm probably gay because this isn't... Why did he bring us? That's weird. Now that <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys are both seven. So it's like a good way to make husbands cheat on their wives. Yeah. It's like, oh, our marriage isn't working. So let's go to Hooters. So like my husband can look at girls' tits. Is that what the point of the restaurant is? Um, I'm acting straight today. Those are the gayest pants I've ever seen. Did you literally buy those from gay.com? Ha ha! That's me. No. Cheetah's really in for straight guys this summer. Pride month is over. Oh yeah, so we can't act gay anymore. Yeah, so why? Those should have been burned at the end of Pride month. Oh fuck. Pride month, everyone turns over again. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm also wearing a pretty manly shirt, but short shorts. So the girls know, maybe he's not fully straight, but like, maybe we can turn him. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't really know what Hooters is and I don't want to fund anyone. I don't want to act like it's a prostitution place. Okay, hooting is an American slang for women's breasts. Mm -hmm. The waiting staff at Hooters restaurants are primarily attractive young women, usually referred to as simply as Hooter girls. Ooh. Whose revealing outfits and sex appeal are played up in a and are a, a primarily component of the company's image. They have one of these for girls that's called Sausage House and it's just a bunch of guys. So it says that they have had some legal issues because they only want to hire hot girls. I'm ready to eat some wings and see some girls in tight <laughs> outfits. <laughs> This isn't gonna get you any tits. Don't they like when guys do this? We're on the way to Hooters. I don't know what to expect. Does someone just walk up and you get creamed or like? What the fuck does cream I, do? I don't know. What happens? I think it's literally, like I said, it's just Applebee's or Chili's, but the waiters just happen to be wearing see-through shirts and short-ass shorts, you know? If you were a 45-year-old <laughs> wife in Illinois, and your husband wanted to go to Hooters with the bros, would you be mad or would you be like, go ahead and go to Hooters? I'd be like, go ahead, boy. I think I'd be kind of mad because I'd be like, ew. I'd be like, that's like the age of our daughter. Oh, true, that would be kind of But at the same time, gross. I'd be like, well, I don't want to have sex with him, so I guess go to Hooters. <laughs> and then I'd do the divorce papers that night. Oh yeah, because it always seems like when someone turns 45, they just always break up after that. Oh yeah, Such for divorce. sure. If you get married, obviously at 45, it's divorce time, you know? Yeah, because it's like, I'm sorry, you just don't do anything. You either pick divorce or sadness. Yeah. Our parents chose sadness. Every time I walk into the house, they're just like... I'm just kidding, our parents love each other. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> they do love each other. They kiss. Hooters! <laughs> These are the type of people that go to Hooters. Alright boy, this is her favorite song, you know that, right? I already feel something! Uh, I'm actually, I think I'm 70% straight right now. Honky dong, not donkey dong. They honky dong, no monkey ball. Dog, the donkey dog. Oh, I'm so excited to see the honky tongue. We're just two guys on break working at the coal factory, <laughs> wanting to get some lunch with a view. Hooters! <laughs> Anything else to say about Hooters? Hooters! <laughs> Wait, or should we go to Crazy Girls? 
Oh, there's an actual strip club. Do you think they have quesadillas? Because I'd be down. Bring Taco Bell in. <gasps> That's I'm going to bring Taco Bell and I'm going every night. Oh my gosh. Finally, I can have an addiction. Now we're in this sketchy hallway on the way to Hoodles. Yeah, I think we're going to get motored before we go. I don't see tits before I die. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> So we walked in and I saw people with tight shorts and tight bras. Mm. So we got to our table and I loved it. You knew it was a man place because they give you a whole entire roll of paper towels. You don't just get one napkin at Hooters. You get a whole effing roll because I know you're going to get slobbery and wet. You know what? You can put one even between your butt cheeks if you get moist. Ew. Also, I really liked it because my chair had a rip straight down the middle, which so you knew that people had been there and enjoyed themselves. Someone's butt smelled so bad that the chair decided to rip itself open. So yeah, I looked through the menu and it was a great thing to see. They have everything from lobster tail to... Kraft mac and cheese. Ugh. When you waited for your food, there were a lot of nice photos on the walls that just sort of kept you entertained, if you know what I mean. Mmm. What's her name? Shake it for me, mommy. So, it was pretty pleasant, but then the waiter took the menus, and while she was pulling them away, my hand started to get sticky from the menus. And I just hope, hope it wasn't any body fluids. That's like at every restaurant, though. The menu's gonna be sticky. <laughs> Deal with it or go home. Ugh, I love the Yankees and Miami Heat and shit. The sports were playing, and I was rooting for my team, just like my daughter taught me to do. You're eating food, but you can still pay attention to the game. The food actually came out pretty quick, but before it came out, there were a lot of people to stare at. A lot of waitresses walking by never get bored. You know, when you look at them, you just think, what a good world we live in, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. The only thing is that the Coke kind of grossed me out. How about you? I mean, it did. The cup was a little bit questionable, but that's just what you expect at these type of restaurants. And I sipped mine in peace. So like I said, me and Jacob kind of thought it was going to be a more adult place, but it was totally family friendly. There were kids everywhere. There were multiple tables with kids there. And you know what? Bring your whole family to Hooters. Have a good dinner. Uh, yeah, the table also had some crunchies on it, but, you know, I'm totally fine with that. Sometimes you don't have enough money to get Clorox. So me and Lucas both walked up the college to ask the waiter, and she took the thumbnail with us, but after three seconds, she was like, when is this going to be over? And she did an awkward laugh that was like, okay. Yeah, luckily though, she was totally down to be in the thumbnail. But yeah, it was awkward because we made it awkward because we're awkward individuals. The food was damn ass good. That was some good eating. My yeah. stomach still kind of hurts. I had to lay on myself on the couch, close the blinds, wrap me around with blankets after that. It's the type of food where afterwards you take a good nap. Once again, my favorite part while eating was the view. Uh-huh, mommy and daddy, you know what that is. <laughs> and then I had to use paper towels to clean my mouth, clean my lower body pouch, clean everything. Oh, uh, we were done eating. I thought everything was over, but damn, no, I was wrong. There was a fine girl waiting to look at me. You could feel so full, but don't you worry, because there's still a good view. We're back from Hooters. Mm -hmm. The whole experience was a lot different than I expected. We started out this video, you kind of thought it was like a stripper place, but not at all. Of course, like the shorts were like up their ass, but like it was just like stuff you see at the mall. And luckily we didn't see anyone being gross to them in there. When they take their pants off, is there a poop stain? That's how I was wondering the whole time. It is like very wedgy vibes. Also, the Hooters girl, our waitress, was a fan of Fred. Yeah, so Lucas had to say, hey, it's Fred. Oh yeah, I did go to a strip club and that was the same type of thing. Yeah, they were like, my kids watch Fred like as their tits were like on. Oh my gosh. So if you've ever been on Nickelodeon, go to a strip club because like they love that. Jeanette McCody, I know you're watching this. Go to a strip club, please. I would eat there again. That's all I can say. I did see a guy beside me. This is nothing on the restaurant, but another person who went to the restaurant was picking his nose like this. 
And that kind of grossed me out because I was just like, I'm trying to oh, eat. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't one of the woke ones, just a goal that was there had a big sweat stain. And oh, I yeah, felt bad a, for her. It was really unfortunate. It was, it's really hot in LA right now and it was a crack stain. Yeah, I just And that's felt, the worst. Like, if you have that, like, your friend should tell you. Yeah, did she know? Like, that I is the worst. Like, if my ass is sweating so much that people can see, like, Please tell me if you see me in public. Yeah, I want to just like tell her like I can you can come back to the apartment and I'll blow dry. Yeah, we gotta ass. blow. You take off the outfit and you blow dry the butt off. Yeah, I'll blow dry your ass for you. So that's two gay bros going to Hooters for you. Who who? Uh, they were playing a lot of sports. Hooters. <laughs> oh wait, we have to announce we didn't turn straight. Oh yeah, we didn't turn straight. I think I'm pansexual now. What does that mean? I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm still gay. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye, Zs. <laughs>